the reason that the blue light subject is getting more and more press and more and more understanding within the industry is that we know that patients are spending more and more time in front of digital devices. And that's something that we know is producing a lot of blue light, a lot of high energy light that's entering the eye. The eye does a really good job of filtering UV light before it gets to the retina. So most of the UV rays are blocked by the cornea, the aqueous, the lens, the vitreous, hardly any of it gets to the back of the eye. The blue light is higher energy photons. That short wavelength light carries more energy per packet to the back of the eye. So when we talk to patients about protecting their eyes against blue light, yes, there's a conversation about circadian rhythm and about digital eye strain, reduced blink rate, those are all important things to address. But the potential damage that that high energy light can cause at the back of the eye is important to address as well. If we use a blue lens, a blue blocking lens, we can protect from the outside. We've also got the ability to protect from the inside by rebuilding the macular pigment and maintaining it at a healthy level. Um, the macular pigment is yellow because it attenuates that short wavelength blue light.